years after the company that owns Gastonia's minor league baseball team filed for bankruptcy. NC Gas House Gang filed the case in federal court in Maryland and listed dozens of organizations that it owes more than $4 million to. WBTV's Ron Lee live tonight in Gastonia. He's been working to get some answers about what this all means for the team and the city going forward. So Ron, are people expecting to recoup any of that money they invested in the team or is it just going at this point? Oh, well, that's a good question, Jamie. I talked to one contractor who tells me that the team here is into him for about $7,000. Money he may see, but pennies on the dollar. So, too, is the same situation for the league that used to host this team. I think they gave it a good try. Disappointment from many business owners, hoping the Honey Hunters would have brought in new possibilities and enhancement for the city. Instead, with word of the bankruptcy filing by the parent company, the stadium sits more like an open wound. I don't know exactly what went wrong. Shannon Wilson runs the front counter of the Chicken King that's within walking distance of the stadium. There was a lot of people involved in all of that, and I think it was sad for everybody. NC Gas House Gang, which owns the franchise, filed for bankruptcy in Maryland, saying they owe around $4 million to contracted organizations. To make matters even worse, the Atlantic League, in which the Honey Hunters played, booted them out last month, claiming the team owes it nearly $300,000. The city of Gastonia sued to force the team out of Caremont Health Park, claiming they hadn't maintained it. Nelson Herrera runs Chaos Tattoo just down the street from the stadium and says he hasn't given up hope in what the area could become. I think there's hope for that area right there. I'm not 100% sure about the Honey Huskers. And it's not just big organizations like law enforcement or the state the team owes money to. It's also small business owners. Uh, I decided to do the baseball games. To Scott try. Neisler really did play-by-play play for the for team the broadcasting on two radio stations that he owns. He's also the mayor of Kings Mountain. Time and time again, I was told I was going to be paid, not ever paid. Neisler says the team owes him around seven grand. Money he tells me he'll be lucky to ever see. And it, you know, it's a real shame that, that uh, you're not living up to what you say you're going to do and, and try to hide behind the bankruptcy part of it. Now, the mayor even told me he did what uh, he could to help out the team repay him by spreading those payments out of what they owed him over a couple of years. He says not even that worked. In Gastonia, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. Ron, thank you. A world